Hi, my name is Corbin Pacheco and I'm the Senior Director of Product Marketing for D2IQ. In this video, I'm going to show you the provisioning of an enterprise-grade Kubernetes cluster on AWS using D2IQ Convoy. Convoy provides best-of-breed open-source components from the cloud-native community, integrated and automated to accelerate time to value for Kubernetes projects. Convoy is complete with everything needed for day two operations out of the box, and it is supported 7 by 24 by the Kubernetes experts at D2IQ. Before we get started, let's talk about a few prerequisites. You need the AWS CLI or command line interface installed. You need Docker running and the Kubernetes CLI kubectl. You also need to have proper AWS credentials. For more information, consult the D2IQ documentation. Now let's go. Convoy provides a command line interface used to automate the deployment of Kubernetes clusters. I have downloaded the Convoy installer and authenticated to my AWS account. I'm going to start by initializing my cluster configuration file with the Convoy init command. The resulting cluster.yaml declaratively describes the cluster so that I can repeatedly and consistently deploy standardized clusters. Let's take a look. The configuration is extensible and provides a significant amount of flexibility in the completed Kubernetes cluster configuration. This includes the cloud infrastructure like region, VPC, and availability zone, and the configuration of cluster machines or nodes. It also describes the version of Kubernetes as well as the components needed for a production grade cluster. These are described as cluster add-ons that can be turned on or off based on your requirements. I do the deployment by running the convoy up command as well as answering the question yes, so I'm not prompted when it tells me it's going to take 15 minutes to deploy. Now that my cluster is complete, I can run convoy apply kubeconfig, set up my kubeconfig file. This will allow me to run regular kubectl commands against my Kubernetes cluster. I'm also presented with a link above that will give me access to the convoy dashboard. We'll take a look at that in one second. As you can see, I can run regular kubectl commands now against my newly created convoy cluster. Now let's take a look at the URL. The URL takes me to the convoy landing page where I can go ahead and launch the console. I will need to log in using the credentials provided. From here, I will have access to the Kubernetes dashboard, as well as all the other add-ons that make my cluster production grade. This includes all my monitoring and alerting and other enabled add-ons. Thanks for watching the short video of deploying production grade Kubernetes on AWS. We will explore more topics in the next video. For next steps, visit our documentation page, learn more with upcoming workshops, or read our blog. Thanks for joining.